Good morning, my people. We're back with another video. Today, we're gonna pick up the ski. The dealer called, said it's ready to go. Fuel pump's in there. They stated that the fuel pump had the accurate fuel pressure, but what we believe, after we ran a few times, we believe after the fuel pump is getting hot, the fuel pump starts decreasing the PSI pressure that is throwing into the ski itself. That's where the issue is there. So we're gonna go pick it up. We're gonna test drive it right now and know if that is the actual issue that the, it, ah that the ski is having. All right, stay tuned. I actually feel bad. Look at the babe's car is all nice and clean, besides the rims. And today we're gonna get it all dirty. Again, look at that. I just washed your car yesterday. All nice and clean. Let's go. Babe's all ready to go. What's going on, brother? Alright. I'm gonna uh, take it out for a test now. Hopefully, uh, that kind of solves everything and yeah, we're actually. able to start doing our tours again. We got uh, a few trips already planned, so hopefully, uh, that fixes everything. If not, I'll be in here uh, buying another ski. <laughs> you go to the same group as Todd Decker? Uh, same group as who? Todd Decker. He goes in a, in a watercraft group of people that travel around. Uh, really bad with names, honestly. Okay. He probably doesn't. He probably does not like going fast. Yeah, he's probably he likes to see stuff. He likes to see stuff. Okay, yeah, that's true. No, actually, I just started doing the fast thing Who's now. Saying? But I, I actually like to uh, travel. Which that's, that's usually what we used to do. Honestly, I try to avoid big crowds of groups. Because right. once people started mixing the, your M&M over there. Because right. this, <laughs> this group goes to Cuba and the Bahamas and stuff on their, on their watercraft. Oh, I'm not going to Cuba. They do all that. <laughs> they do. Right? The Bahamas, the Cuba, they don't know. Dude, I'm Cuban and I won't even go there. <laughs> We got the old change here. Now I want to do the old change before we ride the ski, so that way, hopefully, it's at its best behavior. So let's give that a go. Look at that water. It's a great day today to be uh, testing out the ski. See how she's gonna do today. Got the RPMs on there. Let's change the mode to top speed. Top speed. Just woke up. Let's give it a few more runs, see if it was actually a fuel pump. All right, so we just reset it. All 
right, we got 79 that time. We got 79. I didn't hold it as long as the other one. And we done a few runs on it already, so pretty sure everything's starting to get warm up by now. And there you go, people. We got 79. 79 again. So I saw a part there that was doing 80, but pretty darn good. Pretty happy now. Seventy nine, baby. Here, I'm going to park up here for a second. I want to show you show you guys something. So this happens to me not as often whenever I go out on long trips. Obviously, I'm more aware of that. But here, let me take this off my chest. Look at this. See the plug? See the plug? That definitely would have been an issue with another ski. I forget to put those things on there. See in here? No water. No water. It's dry. So, I just tell you a little small detail that they pay attention to. What do you think about my hair here? Looks nice, huh? <laughs> this thing is running hot! Woo! Finally got this thing going. It was a pretty good run. I did, as you guys saw, I did about what, like six, seven passes on there? For the most part, like all the passes that we did was pretty far stretch on some of them. I mean, not too far, but maybe, uh, I don't know, a thousand foot or something like that. What happens with the fizzle and the cooler, it keeps the speed consistent because obviously it's not heating up as much. But for a stock and a cooler, you know, losing one miles per hour, that's not bad. If uh, you want to keep running it, just uh, wait a few minutes, wait to cool down, and then you just do another pass, whoever you want to do it. Because that one mile does make a difference. But, I mean, I was able to get two or three good passes on there before the ski actually started to lose that one mile per hour. It was pretty windy. I noticed when I was uh, riding the ski, uh, it started to push me towards the side. I don't know. But... Overall, pretty happy. 80 miles per hour, pretty nice. I believe we're gonna do the oil change today after we do that. I have no doubt we'll be doing 81 miles per hour. Another thing is, whenever you do the oil change, uh, you gotta check your oil. A lot of people like to fill it to the top. Don't ever fill it to the top. I was told this several times by different people that know about skis and especially the Sea-Doo line. So if you run it, not on the low mark but just a little bit just above that there's a lot less friction to the engine so it creates less restrictions i guess what happened is it gives you more miles does not harm the engine for what i was told but all right guys stay tuned we're gonna have uh more nice videos coming up the ski's not ready to go so now we're gonna get some other things going we got raymond last time we did a 75 and he was having a hard time trying to keep up so I don't even think Raymond's gonna be able to see me this time, so we're gonna have another few things done to the ski. There's a part that you put on the back of the ski so that way you don't have to take off the seat so it can breathe better. So I was thinking about maybe, I mean, you guys have been awesome. So lately I've been getting a bunch of subscribers, bunch of likes, a um, bunch of comments. So I actually appreciate that. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to entertain you guys. So whatever you guys ask for, I would make sure I'd try to get it done for you guys. Let's try to see another 150 likes and uh, what, another 150 subscribers. You're already there, you're gonna click that uh, like button. So right next to it, what is this? Subscribe, right? So just hit those two on there and uh, we'll make sure we'll get that, uh, the back piece, I'll show you later, uh, the back panel on the ski where the back seat rest is on. There's a few things you could cut out and put a specific uh, brand uh, material on there so that way water does not get inside but you're still getting air to the intake which is right underneath that. So let's get another 150 likes and 150 subscribers and we'll get this done. All right guys, I'll see you guys next time. We got the ski here. We're gonna do a quick little oil change to it. Get it ready for the summer. So we got the system in there. Everything is plugged into the battery there. And you got your garden. And then Kayla's sleeping, of course. So all you do is uh, power it on. 
I want you to do the trick. Look at that. Just like that. Ninety-four hours. We're getting an oil change. So now we're gonna start doing the oil change every twenty-five hours instead of fifty. Here's uh. Once you fill it up, there you go. All right. So just a quick side note. When I was taking the cap of the oil filter off, this thing was so tight that I was having issues to even remove it with the impact gun. So what I suggest you to do if that ever happens to you, do not keep unloosing. So what you want to do is tighten. Let it hit a few uh, uh, impact and then untie and tie and untie it till eventually it'll come off. And that's what I did. So, and here's what I use. Hey, JJ. So, that's what you do. We'll remove that now and then take care of the rest. So, the ski's all done. Here's the uh, job completed, all done. Hooked up to the battery terminal so they can keep charging. That thing. Saved me about three years of that battery use, which usually I used to change batteries on a yearly base. So it does work. Now we're gonna do house chores and that'll be it. And we're gonna park it there because we have a camera right there so this is a good reason why you need an ATV at your house there it is parked here it's away from front entrance where anybody could just come and take your trailer what you doing buddy what you doing what you doing you're driving oh. 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 what you doing what you doing Hey, are uh, you driving? I thought he was driving. There's no fun in that. Kayla, watch this. <laughs> what you doing? Watch this. Kayla, where is it? Watch it. Over there. Go get it. Where is it? In the woods. Go get it in the woods. Go get it. Where is it? Come here. Go get it. Go get it. Over here. Search. Good girl. Good girl. All right, come back. All right, let me uh, hook this thing and uh, we'll be on our way. So back when I used to live in Miami, I mean, I used to dream with a nice yard. And um, we have from the street over there, bam, to the street back there. And then all this sides here. That's uh, our lot. Originally it was just to here, but we bought this back here. All right, let's get this bad boy back. How's it going? That's how you know you got it made when you take time off of work so you can work, right? There you go. You get to work on what you want to work on, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Él está parqueando, está pendiente de lo que estás haciendo. Wow. Yeah. And there you go. All the toys put away. Now we can take a shower and go to Raymond's house to find out what he's doing. <laughs>